I know, I know. You expect to see a robotic arm in a bottle, but just one minute. We realized that on the last video, we didn't explain how do we make the arm move. So in the first segment of this video, we are going to explain how all that works. If you're not interested in that, we're leaving timestamps in the description below so you can fast forward so you can see the arm in action. I guess we can start out talking about how we're going to be doing this today and talk about the setup for it. You can see the tablet running on the robot. It's the Microsoft Surface that's actually got the MCP that operates the robot. MCP is the master control program built with Robbie, the Robbie framework. And then on this laptop that I've got on my lap, you can see we've got another MCP running. It's very similar to that one. Uh, we don't have anything the camera coming across right now, but we do have this set of controls over here above these five buttons here control moving the robot forward backward pivot right pivot left and stop and then down below we've got a set of controls that we can run the arm with so there's kind of three things we can do with the arm here really uh, four things i should say uh, the first one we have a set of named poses i'm going to do one here we'll do salute left so these are just poses that using a program in the card on the arm moves all the servos at once to put the arm into a pose for you. And I'll go back to home here. This is the home pose down here. Then we've got what I call run a servo macro, which basically runs through a series of different poses. As kind of a macro thing. And that's something once I get into actually having the arm work by itself without what we're doing now is essentially remote control. But once I get the arm running by itself, then these macros like this will play an important part in that, I think. Okay, and then down here in this other section down here. Uh, I can set any values I want within the ranges of what the servos on the arm will do and set kind of an on-the-fly pose. Moves the servos one at a time. And now we'll go back to a regular home pose. And then finally, down here at the very bottom of this, We've got a thing where I can move one servo at a time. So here we'll just move the gripper and we'll open it up, which oddly enough, a low number makes it open wide and a high number makes it close, which someday I may get around to changing that. But for right now, that's how it's going to work. So 50, the gripper's almost all the way open. And if I move it to 500, the gripper's pretty much closed. So that's how we're going to be controlling things. Uh, at the stage we're at right now, it's really about learning how to move the arm and how to make the arm do things for me. Um, so remote control is what I need. I need to understand what it takes to move the arm into a position to pick something up and then to actually carry it places with the robot and that kind of stuff. So that's where we're at in the learning towards being able to have the robot find beers and pick them up. Recognition to see if there's a beer bottle in the room and if there is, then in theory, it'll go pick it up and take it where we want it to take it. It's kind of the next step. You can see on the arm, it's already got that camera on there. I don't have that camera hooked up yet, but that camera is what we're gonna use when it comes time to actually pick up the beer bottle. So it'll be telling, watching, so it knows when the gripper is ready to close and how far away the beer bottle is, how far it needs to move the arm and what it needs to do to get to the gripper in the right place to pick it up. Wait, I wanna just clarify something in comparison to the previous video. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't watched that video, there's a link below. You can also click here or here to watch it. But the main thing I wanted to explain is that in the last video, the beer bottle was full. In this video, we emptied it out to make it easier for the arm to be able to pick it up since it's lighter. Okay, let's get to it. Ripper open. Man, we almost got there last time. <laughs> Elbow up. Shoulder forward. 
a little bit more. Uh, not that much. Okay. I think I'm going to hit the bottle here when I come down with the elbow. You want me to move it back a little bit? Uh, let's see how we're going to do here. I'll come down slow. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't need to move it. <laughs> well, there it is. <laughs> oh yeah, it's magic. Look at that. It's in the perfect spot. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try not closing the grip quite so tight. And let's see if we've Close, got it gripped tight enough to pick it up. No, nope. oh, barely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the grip a little bit tighter, maybe. Okay, now I'm gonna back up just a little bit and do this touch screen. Why are you not stopping? That's weird. Go to home. Looks pretty good. Okay. Elbow up. Well, that didn't do what it should. Oh, I said 1500, not 2500. There we go. Now, for the tricky part. Ah! <laughs> you know, I should just turn that off. Ah! Stop! Stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> Okay, go back now. See if I can get really lucky. Ah, no, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Shoot. Can I rescue it? Ooh, 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 that's pretty in. good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see here. So we want to go wrist down. Yeah, okay. Let's come down on the elbow a little. Oh, Ooh. okay. Come on, Gripper. Oh, you're kidding me. Really? <laughs> Again? Again. Ah. Okay, we could try something radical here. We're going to do something radical and see if it breaks everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't that great. <laughs> well, there's the bottle. The bottle is <laughs> on the table. <laughs> Not exactly placed gracefully. Well, it looks like I got to figure that out. That was working before. But we got farther than last time. So, so the problem, you think it's uh, that we're gripping the bottle too hard? Well, yeah, I think it's making it so the... The servo shuts down. And it's this one here. Yeah, it's that servo. That's the gripper servo. And I think when it's, you know what, I, the real answer here, 
that I'll have to do someday is to put touch sensors on the pads on the gripper so that it can tell how tightly it's gripping the bottle oh, okay. and stop itself regardless of how thick the bottle is. Oh, okay. Right now I'm just kind of eyeballing it. For whoever is watching this video, so you mentioned shoulder and elbow and wrist. So those are different joints, right? So this bottom one is the, actually this one would be the shoulder, right? Well, that's, there's two shoulders so and two wrists. Okay. So the one that's in the base of the arm is the shoulder's lateral one here. I'll move that one. Okay, so this one turns it, right? Yeah, I'll show you here. Well, that's the wrist lateral. <laughs> that's the wrist lateral. Yeah, that's what we meant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I meant to do that. <laughs> okay, here we go. So that's shoulder lateral. Okay. Then this one is shoulder vertical. Okay. And then elbow is just up and down, is just vertical. So there's only one, one elbow. Yeah. And you know, this mimics the arm. The elbow is really just only goes one, one motion, way, it just right? goes up and down. Yeah. Okay. So that's the elbow. And then there's wrist vertical. Well, that's shoulder vertical. I somehow I just can't seem to get those straight. There's wrist vertical. Okay. And then wrist lateral. So officially this is, well, shoulder lateral and wrist lateral. I shouldn't say it. I jinx myself when I say <laughs> it. Whoa. Okay. That's wrist lateral. And then, and then you have the, the gripper. Yeah, which... So that's the one, the gripper is the one that's messing up. So this is the la wrist lateral. This is the, the gripper. Yeah. Um, this is uh, wrist vertical, right? Yep, yep. Elbow, which is there's only one. And then you have um, the two shoulders, vertical yep. and lateral. Yep. So there's a total of how many servos? Six servos. They call it a six DOF arm. Okay. You've got four DOFs, and I think there's even nine DOF arms. I'm not sure. And DOF means degrees of freedom. Okay. Yeah, so that is, that's why it's not that easy to just <laughs> pick up a bottle. It takes practice, which I'm just getting. And, and it takes getting the arm to work correctly, which, you know, it always works fine when you're not here. Yeah. <laughs> Bring the cameras it's, and it's like, okay, no, I got stage fright now. It, it, every time when you're doing a demo is when things don't go right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's not the result that you wanted to see, but we are going to continue working on making the arm better and we'll continue making more videos to share with you the progress that we're making. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to get notified when we post new videos. Thank you and catch you in the next one. Has it been 20 seconds yet? Oh, by the way, don't forget to watch this video. Or is it this one? <laughs>